Prepare for an immersive exploration into the intricate cognitive landscapes of the tech industry's most influential leaders. Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk are at the pinnacle of the game. In this video, we unravel the complexities of strategic thinking that power the success of these visionary architects. This in-depth exploration serves as your exclusive backstage pass, offering an unprecedented glimpse into the minds of these tech pioneers. As we decode the genius behind their decisions, you'll gain valuable insights into the mental frameworks that have propelled these leaders to the zenith of success. The common thread is that they think big and think in decades, not in years. In a world where innovation is the heartbeat of progress, understanding the intricate neural pathways of tech visionaries becomes paramount, providing you with a blueprint to engineer your own triumphs in the ever-evolving tech landscape. Jeff Bezos is the visionary entrepreneur and the founder of Amazon, a company that has revolutionized the e-commerce, cloud computing, and digital content industries. Under Bezos's leadership, Amazon grew from an online bookstore launched in 1994 to the world's largest e-commerce platform and one of the most valuable companies globally. Bezos played a pivotal role in Amazon's diversification, introducing products like the Kindle e-reader, expanding into cloud services with Amazon Web Services, and establishing the company as a major player in the digital streaming market. Bezos's innovations extended beyond Amazon as he founded Blue Origin, a private aerospace manufacturer and space flight services company, showcasing his commitment to advancing space exploration. Bezos's day one mentality is a leadership philosophy that emphasizes maintaining a startup mindset and a relentless focus on innovation, customer satisfaction, and long-term thinking. Bezos has often expressed the idea that every day at Amazon should be approached with the urgency, customer centricity, and innovation of a startup's first day. The day one mentality involves a commitment to listening to customer feedback and iterating on products and services. Amazon's product reviews, customer ratings, and continuous refinement of its website based on user data demonstrate the importance of incorporating customer input into the decision-making process. And Bezos emphasizes the danger of becoming complacent and losing the agility and innovative spirit of a startup. Day two is stasis, followed by irrelevance, <laughs> followed by excruciating painful decline followed by death. <laughs> and that is why it is always day one. The day one mentality encourages constant self-disruption and a willingness to challenge existing processes and norms. Bezos's bias for action is a leadership principle at Amazon that underscores the importance of making decisions quickly, taking calculated risks, and avoiding analysis paralysis. Bezos believes that a bias for action is crucial for innovation and staying ahead in a fast-paced business environment. As such, Bezos encourages a culture where decisions are made promptly. This is reflected in Amazon's approach to quickly assess and act on opportunities. For example, when deciding to enter new markets or introduce new product lines, Amazon tends to make decisions swiftly to capitalize on emerging trends. Amazon's organizational structure encourages decentralized decision-making within the company, being divided into small autonomous teams that operate like startups. The structure allows for quicker decision-making at the team level, fostering a bias for action throughout the organization. But Bezos embraces a willingness to fail as part of the bias for action mindset. After all, not every decision will be successful, but the key is to learn from failures and to iterate. Initiatives like the Fire Phone, which should not achieve the expected success, highlight Amazon's acceptance of failure as the natural part of innovation. Bezos' emphasis on customer obsession is a core principle at Amazon that underscores the company's commitment 
to putting customers at the center of every decision. This philosophy shapes Amazon's culture and drives the pursuit of long-term customer satisfaction over short-term gains. Bezos instills a culture where employees are encouraged to understand, anticipate, and fulfill customer needs. This obsessive focus goes beyond simply meeting expectations to exceeding them. Amazon continually seeks ways to improve the customer experience, such as implementing faster shipping options, introducing new services like Amazon Prime, and enhancing customer support mechanisms. Bezos believes in fostering a culture of innovation canted around customer needs. Amazon consistently introduces new products and services aimed at improving the lives of its customers. For example, the introduction of the Kindle e-reader and the development of Amazon Web Services were driven by a deep understanding of customer preferences and market demands. The introduction of Amazon Prime is a key example of customer obsession. The program not only offers expedited shipping, but is expanded to include additional benefits like streaming services, exclusive deals, and much more. This initiative was driven by a deep understanding of customer preferences and a desire to enhance loyalty. Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founder and CEO of Meta, formerly Facebook, has achieved immense success and impact in the tech industry. He founded Facebook in 2004, envisioning a platform that connects people globally. Under his leadership, Facebook evolved into the world's largest social media platform, reaching billions of users. Zuckerberg played a pivotal role in introducing innovative features like the newsfeed, facilitating the acquisitions of Instagram and WhatsApp, and leading Meta's expansion into virtual reality with the acquisition of Oculus. Move fast and break things was an informal mantra at Facebook during its early years, reflecting a philosophy of rapid innovation, risk-taking, and a willingness to disrupt traditional norms in the pursuit of progress. While the company has since evolved and Zuck has acknowledged the need for a more cautious approach, the ethos of move fast and break things left a lasting impact on Facebook's culture. In the early days of Facebook, the platform underwent frequent updates and changes. The move fast and break things philosophy encouraged engineers and developers to iterate quickly, introducing new features and updates without being overly concerned about potential bugs or temporary disruptions. This rapid iteration allowed Facebook to stay ahead in the fast-paced social media landscape. Also, Facebook opened its platform to third-party developers, allowing them to build applications and integrate with the social network. While this move fostered innovation and a vibrant app ecosystem, it also led to challenges, including privacy concerns and misuse of user data. The open platform approach exemplifies the move fast and break things mentality by prioritizing innovation and developer collaboration. Zuck's commitment to data-driven decision-making at Meta involves using quantitative and qualitative data to inform strategic choices, product development, and overall business decisions. Meta relies heavily on user engagement metrics to evaluate the performance of its platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Metrics such as daily and monthly active users, time spent on the platform, and user interactions provide insights into the popularity and effectiveness of features and content. For example, if a particular feature sees a decline in user engagement, it may prompt adjustments or improvements based on the data. A-B testing is a common practice at Meta, where different versions of a feature or interface are tested with separate user groups to measure their impact on user behavior. For instance, when introducing a new design element or feature in the newsfeed, Meta may conduct A-B tests to analyze how users respond to each variation, helping the company make informed decisions based on user preferences and behaviors. Zuck's adaptability and evolution as a leader are demonstrated through his willingness to embrace change, learn from challenges, and steer his company in new directions as the technology landscape evolves. When the shift to mobile became evident in the mid-2010s, Zuckerberg recognized the importance of adapting to this trend. Facebook underwent a mobile transformation, emphasizing a mobile-first approach. Additionally, Zuck strategically acquired Instagram in 2012, recognizing the platform's mobile-centric appeal. This adaptability to changing user behaviors solidified Facebook's position in the mobile space. Zuck has shown adaptability by investing in emerging technologies such as virtual reality and augmented reality. 
the acquisition of Oculus in 2014 signaled a strategic move into the VR space with an emphasis on its potential application in gaming and beyond. One of the most significant demonstrations of Zach's adaptability is Meta's evolution and the introduction of the Metaverse vision. In 2021, Facebook was rebranded as Meta, reflecting a strategic shift towards building a broader interconnected digital space known as the Metaverse. This transition showcases Zuck's ability to pivot the company's focus in response to emerging trends and technological shifts. Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur and CEO, has made extraordinary contributions across several industries and technology, co-founding companies like Zip2 and X.com, which later became PayPal, Elon displayed early entrepreneurial acumen. He then founded SpaceX in 2002, revolutionizing the aerospace industry with the development of reusable rockets and advancing the goal of interplanetary colonization. And as the CEO and product architect of Tesla, Elon disrupted the automotive sector, popularizing electric vehicles and renewable energy solutions. He also founded SolarCity to address sustainable energy needs. And he co-founded Neuralink, aiming to merge the human brain with artificial intelligence. He's most recently acquired Twitter, rebranding it to X, and has developed his own AI company, Grok. Elon is known for his disciplined approach to time management, which includes a technique called time blocking. Time blocking involves dedicating specific blocks of time to particular tasks, projects, or types of work throughout the day. Elon's time blocking technique is designed to optimize his productivity and focus on multiple responsibilities. Elon reportedly organizes his day into themed work blocks, allocating specific time periods to different areas of focus. For example, you might dedicate a block of time in the morning to focus on SpaceX related tasks, followed by an afternoon block for Tesla related work. This enables the mind to retain focus on specific objectives and tasks as opposed to being disparate and fractured throughout the day. Elon is also known for emphasizing communication transparency. And part of his time blocking involves dedicated periods for responding to emails, holding meetings, or engaging with team members. By clustering communication related tasks, he can maintain focus during other work blocks. Elon's commitment to continuous learning suggests that he also allocates time for staying informed about advancements in technology, science, and other relevant fields. This may include reading, research, and discussions with experts in the space to advance his own thinking more rapidly. Elon's approach to iterative optimization involves a continuous cycle of improvement and refinement. It's a methodical process where he and his teams work on evolving products, processes, and technologies through successive iterations, learning from each cycle to make enhancements. SpaceX, under Musk's leadership, exemplifies iterative optimization in the development of rockets. The Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles have undergone numerous iterations with each version incorporating improvements based on lessons learned from previous launches. The iterative process allows SpaceX to increase reusability, reduce costs, and enhance overall performance. Meanwhile, Tesla's over-the-air software updates exemplify iterative optimization in the automotive industry. Instead of waiting for traditional model year updates, Tesla was the first to regularly release software updates that bring new features, improve performance, and address issues reported by users. This iterative approach allows continuous enhancement and refinement of the driving experience. In the development of Neuralink's brain-machine interface technology, Elon also embraces an iterative approach. The company has shared updates on progress acknowledging challenges and the need for ongoing refinement. This iterative optimization is crucial in the complex field of neuroscience, where advancements are made incrementally for experimentation and learning. Elon's application of first principles thinking is a problem-solving approach that involves breaking down complex problems into fundamental truths or first principles and building solutions from the ground up. This method allows him to question assumptions, avoid conventional thinking, and innovate in ways that might not be apparent through analogy or traditional problem solving. Elon applied first principles thinking to the aerospace industry, 
challenging the assumption that rockets had to be expensive. Instead of accepting the high costs associated with traditional aerospace manufacturing, he broke down the components and costs of rocket production fundamental principles. This led to the development of reusable rocket technology, dramatically reducing the cost of launching payloads into space. When Elon entered the automotive industry with Tesla, he applied first principles thinking to the design and manufacturing of electric vehicles. Instead of accepting the limitations of existing battery technology, he broke down the components of electric vehicles to fundamental physics and chemistry. This approach led to innovations in battery technology enabling longer range electric vehicles and contributing to the widespread adoption of electric cars we see today. While Bezos, Zuck and Elon have distinct personalities and approaches to leadership, there are some common mental models and principles that align with their success in the tech industry. A couple of models that underpin their other principles and their strategy for success include long-term thinking, and a passion for moonshot projects. Bezos, Zuck, and Elon are all known for their long-term thinking and willingness to invest in projects with extended time horizons. This includes initiatives like Amazon Web Services for Bezos, the development of the metaverse for Zuck, and the pursuit of space exploration and colonization for Elon. Their ability to look beyond short-term gains and focus on lasting impacts is a shared mental model. And this is perhaps one thing that massively separates these founders from many others. Beyond this, Bezos, Zuck, and Elon share a passion for pursuing ambitious moonshot projects that have the potential to revolutionize industries. Whether it's Elon's vision for colonizing Mars, Bezos' interest in space exploration through Blue Origin, or Zuck's goal of building the metaverse, they all demonstrate a willingness to tackle grand challenges. And coupled with a combination of the other mental models highlighted earlier,